The Spirit is upon seventy elders. One day, some worthless foreigners among the Israelites became greedy for food, and even the Israelites themselves began moaning. We don't have any meat. In Egypt we could eat all the fish we wanted, and there were cucumbers and melons and onions and garlic. <laughs> but we're starving out here, and the only food we have is this manna. The Israelites stood around their tents, complaining. Moses heard them and was upset that they had made the Lord angry. He prayed, I am your servant, Lord, so why are you doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? You've made me responsible for all these people, but they're not my children. You told me to nurse them along and to carry them to the land you promised their ancestors. They keep whining for meat. Where can I get meat for them? This job is too much for me. How can I take care of all these people by myself? If this is the way you're going to treat me, just kill me now and end my miserable life. The Lord said to Moses, Choose seventy of Israel's respected leaders and go with them to the sacred tent. Moses told the people what the Lord had said. Then he chose seventy respected leaders and went with them to the sacred tent. While the leaders stood in a circle around the tent, Moses went inside, and the Lord spoke with him. Then the Lord took some authority from Moses and gave it to the seventy leaders. And when the Lord's Spirit took control of them, they started shouting like prophets. But they did it only this one time. Eldad and Medad were two leaders who had not gone to the tent, but when the Spirit took control of them, they began shouting like prophets there in the camp. A boy ran to Moses and told him about Eldad and Medad. Joshua was there helping Moses, as he had done since he was young, and he said to Moses, Sir, you must stop them. But Moses replied, Are you concerned what this might do to me? I wish the Lord would give his spirit to all his people so everyone could be a prophet. <laughs>